extreme outer north. <laughs> and unlike some Tory MPs, I don't have six jobs, but I have had two careers. First as an electrical engineer for over 20 years, inspired by the great engineering successes of the Northeast, especially Newcastle and York. I was an engineering student when Margaret Thatcher told us that manufacturing was the past, that the world would be our workshop while we kept our hands clean. And she made sure her wish came true. I spent much of my engineering career abroad as Britain's great industries were broken, held back by a combination of neglect and malice. In place of manufacturing, of building real stuff, they constructed a financialized economy that generates wealth for a tiny global elite and holds everyone else back. If you're a small business struggling to raise a capital for a bold new venture, you're being held back. If you've a zero hours minimum wage contract, denied access to training or education, your productivity and your potential is being held back. And if you're a tech startup that can't find enough skilled workers to launch your groundbreaking new product, you're being held back. We're going to change that. We are the only ones that can change that. The Tories do not have a plan to unlock the potential of our country. Their industrial strategy is more erratic than strategic and has little to say about industry. Labour, on the other hand, has a more productive vision for our future, an innovation nation delivering fair and sustainable growth where we can all be wealth creators and share in the wealth created.